Hi guys, today I wanted to do a video on my preference between the Gilio Campania Medium Rust and the Gilio Medium Amica in black and orange. Both planners are medium sized. This one here on the left, which is the Campania, is a little bit more popular than the one on the right, which is the Amica. I was lucky enough to be able to purchase both and I wanted to use both of them for about two or three weeks before I did this because I really wanted to make sure that I was positive about which one my preferences were. Uh, there are a lot of videos on YouTube comparing these two piece by piece, pockets, interior layout, all that good stuff. I won't be doing that. My video is more of which I prefer and why. Okay, so I'm not going to make you wait till the very end of the video to find out which one of these planners I prefer. I'm going to let you know right away that my preference lies right here with the Amica. This planner is gorgeous. I love it. This one here on the left, which is the Campania, not so much. Now, I know some of the things that I say might upset the Campania community because there are a lot of people that have a cult following with this planner right here and they love it to pieces and I totally agree with them. This is a beautifully made planner. The leather is gorgeous. The craftsmanship is gorgeous. Same with the Amica, but I prefer the Amica because of the layout versus the companion. So there's nothing wrong with this planner, it just doesn't suit my needs. So I'm going to go over some of the reasons why. Okay, reason number one is this planner's width is a lot wider than the Campania. The Amica has a little bit more space, so if I line them up like this, you can see how much further the Amica comes out from the Campania. And the reason why I like that little extra space is because when you go over to the Campania, my dividers are bumping into this pen. So when I open and close my planner, you can hear the dividers clicking against that pen. And because of this, these fairly new dividers are starting to separate in this middle section right here. My to-do list and stickers the lamination is starting to separate. I just recently purchased these dividers. You guys saw this in a last uh, video of mine. So it's kind of sad to think that the divider tabs are curling and splitting at this point because of the pen. Now I know there's a lot of people out there that are gonna say, well, I don't use a pen in my uh, Campania. And I understand that, but I do. And for the price that I'm paying for this planner, it doesn't really make sense that I can't even have a pen in there. And as you can see, when I close it, the tabs almost lay over the pen. It's kind of too tight of a fit as far as I'm concerned. And then when you close the planner, you can actually see all of the tabs sticking out. And you can actually see this one curling under because it's stuck under that pen. And that's why it's separating. Now when you go over to the Amica, we do not have that situation. Look at how far this pen is sitting away from the divider tabs. So when I open it, my tabs are nowhere near the pen. Those tabs are not rubbing anywhere near this pen. Totally, totally love that. So that is my first reason why I prefer the Amica over the Campania. Now we're going to go to reason number two. Number two is the pocket configuration. When you open up the Campania, this pocket configuration here on the left drives me absolutely crazy. <laughs> it is so awkward for me. I don't like it because it's this really short pocket here. You can put a Project Life card in it, but that's about it. You can pile a lot of things down at the bottom, but the top of the pocket seems really wasteful and doesn't really look pleasing to my eye when I stuff these pockets. The second pocket that drives me a little crazy is this angled one. Everything that I put in it seems like I'm putting it in crooked. 
I don't like the way it looks. I kind of just can't deal with that pocket, so I skip it all together. And then the last pocket that's here is this lovely zipper pocket. Now, I know a lot of you love this zipper pocket, but there's a part of it that I dislike. Right here, in this little zipper tab pull, it marks everything that it touches on this side. This planner comes with a leather fly leaf that goes right here. Normally, I would think that this is beautiful and I would keep it in here, but look at what's happened to it after two days of use. See that nice, beautiful indentation there? Yuck. That really, really bugs me. Um, that is made from the zipper touching that area when the planner is closed. So this has been removed because my OCD cannot handle the dent. Also, I've noticed that it's starting to dent my new divider that I just got yesterday. So it really seems to do more damage than it does good, this little zipper pull. So we're going to move over to the Amica now. When we move over to the Amica, nothing but pure beauty. Look at those gorgeous pockets. They're all functional. They're all large pockets and they're more of what I like. If I want to put post-it notes in there, if I want to layer things, I love that there's three of them. You can put credit cards in here if you want to change this into a wallet. I absolutely adore this pocket configuration. So that is my second reason. My third reason is the back pocket. So we're going to go back to the Campania. The back pockets of the Campania are here with those lovely card slots that I love. But these are angled sideways. They're really awkward. And anytime you put something in them, it just doesn't, it doesn't, it's not pleasing to my eye that it goes down at this angle. So it's just something awkward. But the worst part of this is I don't like to put anything in my back pockets. And the reason why is because when you have your planner open, that's your surface. This is where I do my writing. This is where I come in my planner and I see something and I want to write it down. If there are items in this back pocket, post-it notes, page flags, paper clips, this is going to lay on a really bumpy, uneven surface and you won't be able to do your writing. That's why I like this pocket configuration on the left side. So we're going to go back over to the Amica, and as you can see, the back pocket configuration in this is normal. It just has one large pocket, this secretarial pocket, and I like that. I keep a few thin stickers back here, and when I have my planner laying against that back pocket, I can still write, and there is no bump or bulk under there. My beautiful decorative pockets are here on the left and they do not interfere with my planner. So that is another reason. The fourth reason is the pricing. The Amica is cheaper than the Campania. So let's face it guys, cheaper is always better, right? So I really love the fact that this one is cheaper. Now we're gonna go through a couple of points that are positives on the Campania that Amica does not have. So we're gonna go through that next. One of the big selling features of the Campania is this back pocket. The Amica does not have that. That back pocket is missing. I feel like if they had put this on this planner, it would have went from 99.9% .9 to 100% awesome. But they did leave out that back pocket for bulk purposes. So that's something you want to keep in consideration. You will lose your back pocket. The next thing is the Campania is a more soft leather. As you can see here, it's very floppy. It's very soft. You can roll it. Very soft. When you move over to the Amica, there is something that they put inside of this. I don't know if it's cardboard. I don't know what it is. There's not stiffeners put into this anymore. There used to be, but uh, Gilio confirmed that no stiffeners are used. But there is almost like a foam cardboard piece in there, but I actually like it. It gives the 
planner structure and these leathers inside are just as soft as the one in the Campania. The only thing that's a little stiffer is the cover and it's not even that stiff. Like I can still bend it with no problem. I love that little bit of stiffness. It gives me a sturdy surface when this thing is open. So you may want to keep that in consideration if you're really into this soft, flappy, floppy leather versus something that's a little bit more stiff, you're going to want to go with the Campania. The last item is the rings. This, um, obviously this planner has more papers in it than that. They can pretty much hold the same. Their ring size is pretty much equal. Um, this planner you can expand to 30 millimeter rings, this planner you cannot. So that's something you want to keep in consideration. If you want to expand your rings, you would want to get the Amica. Now remember, if you do expand your rings, you're going to lose that little extra space here and you're going to start just touching your pen again. And I did a lot of thinking about it and I don't think I'm going to be purchasing the 30 millimeter rings because I don't want to run into that same situation where $13 divider sets are being destroyed in just a couple of days from rubbing on my pen location. So that is it guys. That is my reasoning of why I prefer the Amica over the Campania. Again, there is nothing wrong with this planner. It is gorgeous. There are a lot of people that are totally in love with it and will not even consider this one. I wanted to keep an open mind and test out both of them fully before I decided. Um, I don't know what the fate of this planner is. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not. I would love to get it, um, the Amica, in the rust color. Once I receive it in the rust color, I may sell this one. I'm not 100% sure. My husband has also put his eye on it and kind of fell in love with it. So it's a beautiful planner. I don't want to regret selling it. So for now, I'm going to hang on to it. And I have been using it. I have been switching in and out of it. Um, if I do buy another Gilio, it's going to be an Amica. And I would probably uh, purchase a solid rust or a bicolor with rust in it for my next one. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That is my comparison between the two planners. Um, I hope I haven't offended anybody because, like I said, there's a lot of people that love this planner, and I had said there is nothing wrong with it. It just does not cater to my needs the way this planner does. I do miss the back pocket, but all the other pluses override having that back pocket. So I hope that made sense to you guys. Um, I hope you... Um, can now make a decision between these two if you're tossed between them because I was for a very long time and I was lucky enough to be able to test both of them before making my decision. Uh, if you're not able to do that, then you can maybe use this video to help you decide which one of these you like better. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!